In acute myeloid leukemia, we know that it's very important for the long term how well a patient responds to chemotherapy. And obviously in the past we were only able to look at under the microscope to see whether the patient received, uh, achieved complete remissions. But then, you know, the, because of the rising of molecular markers, the, um, the idea of, molecular, uh, of minimal residual disease also came up in AML. So looking more in detail at malignant clones that are still present, but that cannot be detected under the microscope. And here we need actually more novel techniques, because in AML you don't just have one single mutation that is very specific and can be seen in all the patients and can be followed, but we need to have a very individualized approach and we need to have an approach that is actually very, very sensitive, um, which is a challenge actually in AML more than it is for other disease entities like CML.